my favorite beaches out here, Boca Chica. I'm gonna see y'all there. Let's go. All right, guys, what's up, man? I'm back. You know I couldn't come back here to DR without showing you this place. Boca Chica, se llama, este parte del país. Um, so right now, yeah, we're in this park called Boca Chica. It's one of my favorite parts. Um, maybe because it's the first place I came when I, when I, my first vacation here in DR, but I'm gonna walk you through the neighborhood. I'm gonna show you uh, some of my favorite spots. I'm gonna give you a couple stories if I can remember any. And we're going to uh, have a good time out here. I'm going to show you the beach, the things to do, give you tips because this could be a little dangerous, but I like, I like, I like this part. The David, I like this part. But some people may not, but this is what to expect. I'm going to give you the rundown from daytime to nighttime because it could turn into two different places, all right? So, y'all ready? Let's do it. So, yeah, I actually got a picture over here by this. <laughs> I guess it was new because it didn't have all this graffiti. But I actually got a, a, a picture of my first time over here at this beach. I got a picture by this sign. Now here the restaurants are a little more pricey by the beach, but still good. Still good food. You're gonna find a bunch of uh, seafood options. So if you come down here, there's actually like a long walkway that you could go down. <laughs> long walkway as you go down and you can see the beach is completely different than the uh completely different than the streets right so you come down here you can see it's a pretty pretty beach nice blue water and this is what the people come for they come to see the beach over there where you see them green ceilings at i hope you guys can see it oh you probably can't see it well, you see the green ceilings at? That's um, that's a restaurant. I forgot the name of it, but it's a it's a pretty good restaurant. Another tip, right? Hold on, I'm gonna talk to you guys. So another tip, you want to avoid this little area. Unless you know somebody or your Spanish is good, or if you do sit here, just make sure you're very like observant. And what I mean by that is, right here is where you get swindled. So a little story, the first time I came here, you know, we went to eat, I was with a couple of my guys, like four of us. We went to eat at those little tables because somebody came to the street and they were like, hey, come come eat at my thing, right? Come eat at our table. So me, you know, being being innocent and cool and chill, I'm like, yo, just uh, let's just do it. Let's just help out the locals. So we went, of course, tried to help out the locals. And guess what? The bill came like two or three times what we expected. So we sat there arguing, but none of our Spanish was efficient enough. <laughs> we, we, we wasn't on point. Our Spanish game wasn't lit. Well, my Spanish game, because they still don't speak Spanish. But basically, you know, we, we got got and there wasn't much we could do. It's not like, you know, we could call a police. I even told the guy, like, I'm going to call a cop. He said, do it. He said, do it. Um, it's very confusing, though, because there actually, there, there actually is a lot of, like, places that you can. No, gracias. There, 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 there's actually a lot of places that do have like these crazy taxes and the dr bill like the way they set it up when it comes is very very interesting i should say like a dr bill you're gonna see like three to four lines of taxes and all together it's gonna be like 30 to 40 percent in taxes what's legit and what's not is very hard to dispute so you kind of got to tap out and just you know basically kneel and say yo it's over like what, what you gonna do but um just a piece of advice. Make sure if somebody's soliciting, like somebody coming to the street to you, you talk to them right there. Like this is gonna be the price. 
they they won't tell you all the secrets the secret the secret uh sauce that they got bro these these guys are very clever you're here for a little bit they do this every day so they know what's going on so you know just keep that in mind uh what else uh so let me get let me show you guys this is the restaurant over here also i want to say we, you could take a boat like if you want to do a little boat ride or something you could take a boat ride over there too as you can see it's super nice over here man this is this is relaxing now some people say they don't like boca chica some people don't like boca chica <laughs> for whatever reason um, at night it could get sketchy but i like i like boca chica bro i feel like this is like unbeatable like this is true caribbean water it's very dope it's very like you can see it's clean i don't get why people don't like it now really boca chica is kind of broken up into a few different uh a few different areas so this is how i see it over there it gets more like hotel -y. it gets more like hotel like over there here i think it's like more kind of like local at nighttime it gets a little hood but on the other side it gets very local so I'm gonna walk back on the beach instead of walking through the street. Um, so we gonna do that. Give me a second, y'all. All right, we gonna walk back now. So, yeah, like I was saying, man, I like this beach. Some people don't like it. You know, I get it though. You want a resort vibe. You want like something a little more chill. Uh, a little more with, with a little more security. I'm not like that, man. I like. I like venturing now. I like hitting the streets. And, you know, exploring. Some people want to spot, you know, the beaches on in the, whole, in the resort. That's not me. Everybody got their own, uh, their own style and everything. I kind of go back to what I was talking about in my other video about what type of beach, what type of vacation person are you? I really think Boca Chica, you get best in both worlds. But it really depends on what you're looking for. So like I was saying here, there's people on the street recruiting you to come to these, these spots. And nothing in Boca Chica is free. Take it from me. This little massage, not free. That's another thing that you want to uh, ask for. Anything, especially service-based. Hold on, let me flip the camera. Anything anything service based is like one of the harder things to come back from as far as if somebody cut your hair it's already done right somebody give you a massage it's already done it's not like you can stop after it and, and, and be like hey i didn't know the price it's over it's over you should have asked they can't take their massage back they can't take their haircut back so just make sure you ask, like, make sure you be like, hey, before you give me this massage, this is the price. Before I get in your taxi, this is the price. Before I do this, before I do that, this is the price. I want to keep showing you guys the beast though. Hold on. Always ask the price. And I've been with people who've been timid about it. And I'm just not a person that's really timid about that type of stuff because it's my money. Like I know people who jump in the cab and the first thing when I ask, the person that got how much is it oh don't, that's rude what? it's not rude for you to ask about your money like that's how you get gypped that's how you end up on the bottom you out here getting the people taxed you not know how much it costs you out here doing stuff not agreeing on the price and trust me they look for people like that that's one of the first they love that they love you if you you, you, you smiling all in the face. They love you if you're not from here, but you, you look like food to them. You look like a lip. You look like somebody that they could take advantage of, honestly. And they will. So just keep your eyes open for that. But that's anywhere. And I guess that's why some people don't want to deal with the book of, with the, uh, with the with the non-resort type of places because you won't get that on a resort like the security is top notch nobody's getting near that you won't have to be dealing with, with people haggling you and stuff like that so you know i mean 
it just depends on, on what you're looking for, man. Honestly, it depends on what you're looking for, what you can handle. Because I also, some people can't handle that. Some people can't handle. You gotta be a little careful. I'm kind of like, like rope walking. But um, yeah, some people can't handle that pressure. I've been places. So for example, I had a friend I was traveling with and they got a tattoo. They got like a henna, a henna? I don't know how they pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. They got one of those little tattoos that you can't uh, take off for like 15 days or some shit. And mid tattoo, I, I, she just, she, <laughs> mid tattoo, she, she didn't know the price. So I was like, hey, how much is cost? Because I was doing something else. I was recording or something. So that tattoo, I'm like, how much this cost? She like, uh, I don't know. So I stopped it immediately. I asked the lady, hey, how much this cost? The lady's like, um, she says the price. I can't remember. It was it was in, uh, I want to say Morocco. So I stopped. I'm like, how much this cost? She says the price. And my friend instantly is like, no, that's not. That's too much. But it already started. So my homegirl, my, my, my homegirl is crazy. She said, nah, it's not too late. And she just jumped up and, and wiped this shit off for her. But it's not a lot of people who built to do stuff like that. Nor do they want to have to deal with that on vacation, you know? So just know, like I said, man, these, these people do this every day. Hold on, I'm going to show you some of the tigres. I'm going to say I'm a hockey. They be right in this parking lot waiting. So it was actually right here where I got a, let's say where we got got at. But right here, if you go a little up, probably gonna have a couple of them trying to get me right now. Got this camera out here looking like a chump. Boy, watch. He looking at me, he don't know what to do with me. I'm a problem. I'm a big, big problem. Boom, look. Look, boom. They got the armor shirt on trying to throw, throw you off. All right, so this was the first thing I seen when I came to uh, <laughs> came to DR for the first time. Actually, the first time I came, it was at nighttime. So this is one of my favorite hotels. Hotel Vincentin, Vincentina, it's a nice hotel. I'm gonna try to find some pictures so you guys can see. But it's a it's a nice hotel and it's it's cheap. Like you can get a room near thirty five dollars. Right next door is Hotel uh, Frio Hot, another one of my favorite hotels. Um, let me just show you guys inside real quick. Let me see if you can see it. Salud. It's a very nice hotel. I stay here all the time. They got um, gelato. They don't got it right now, but they usually have like ice cream right there. You can eat. They're very nice people. I actually love staying there. Um, right here is also Frio Hot. It's the same place. I don't know what happened, but it seems to be close today. That's a nice piece of here. This is another spot that was a piece of here. It's sad though because a lot of things are closed now. I'm trying to think if uh if if I've been here since COVID, and that's probably what happened. But right here, um, it was another piece of place. I think it closed too. It's kind of sad to see all these places closed. Um, or oh, is that right there? But um, right through here, this little spot you could get to um the hotel. I mean the beach, sorry. But, um, you keep walking out here. <laughs> she said, "Don't go." She said, "Don't record me." But anyway, you keep walking out here. Got a couple spots now. Nighttime, they put all the chairs out. So it's a bunch of chairs out here. Um, no cars come through here, and you could just sit down and mac out, and you know, talk, have a good time, hang out. I think this is the other piece of place I was talking about. They got a good piece of here. But throughout this whole trip, you got restaurants all over the place. It's the nighttime. It turns to a whole different place. So one thing I used to wonder about when I first came here, when I used to walk these streets, um, was why all of these little these little packs in the street. I'm like, well, what's up with that? Uh, basically what happens is it's like, uh, I want to say kind of like an irrigation system. As it rains, it floods, and all the water goes down there. But there's one of the good stores. 
Like, it's different than uh, New York, right? In New York, you want a bodega, you can't find any city patrol, none of that. Here, you got the whole layout, everything you can need, all type of liquor. You don't gotta go to like a official liquor store to find it. So right down that way is the beach, of course. Like I was saying, we walk a little further. Damn, I'm starting to think I haven't been here in a while. Um, it seems it seems way smaller than <laughs> than what I remember. But again, bro, at nighttime, all of this is cleared out. All of this is cleared out. So as you can see, it's not the prettiest place in the world. It's actually a bit slummy. But um, it's good vibes. But this is what they expect. I remember when I was looking up Boca Chica, I was looking for videos. I was looking for what's going on, how it looks. Um, you know, just looking for anything. I couldn't find anything on Boca Chica, man. So I just came and had to see it for myself. Like you can see, all of this, a lot of construction going on. So a lot of construction going on, which is interesting to see because every time I came here, it was the same. So maybe they're trying to build this, this place up. But right here, this is one of my tricks or my tips for Boca Chica. Right here, if you come right here, it's like a little pharmacy kind of vibe. But here is one of the few places you'll find a price on the actual... Uh, the price on the actual items. So if you go in there, you'll actually find the sticker price on the on the let's say a soda or let's say a soda or uh, chips or whatever you need, you'll actually find a sticker price. Whereas if you go across the street to like somewhere like that, nothing will have prices on it. So you kinda at the mercy of the people who work there. Let's keep going now. So this is a little park, like kind of a little square. You come out here, hang out, sit down, chill out. Oh, right Here's another tip. Let me walk a little bit more. So if you ever run out of money, right? If you ever run out of money, you can come here. This is Banco Papalua. There, you could get money. You could take out money, it accepts American cards. And it has a it has a menu in English too. Let's go down here. The beach is down here. I'm giving you a, a quick overview. Quick, quick overview of Boca Chica. You guys know what you're getting yourself into. So beware of what they call here los tigres, and that's basically people who are looking to plot, looking to to get your money trying to sell you things it's a trillion of them. a trillion of them on the beach <laughs> so just keep your eyes open for them but um let me talk over this music i just way to the beach to the right let me see if i can find a restaurant i thought it was this block but see but this block up or the next block up i think it's this block up it's a good seafood place good prices we're gonna head back though we're gonna walk you back. Same 